Hi, in this video we're going to talk about forces. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to define exactly what a force is. And simply put, a force is a push or a pull. That simply means it can go either way. You can go left, right, up, down, in any direction. A force is simply a push or a pull. Mathematically, that defines to a force will cause a mass to accelerate. In other words, if you push on something or pull on something, that something being a mass, the mass will then accelerate speed up, slow down, or change direction. Let me say that again. That's real important. If you push on something or pull on something, that's the force, that something, the mass, will either speed up, slow down, or change direction. That would be the acceleration. So let's take a look at this equation and see how we can actually use it in a problem. Now there are three ways to use this equation. You can use this equation to solve for the force if you know the mass and an acceleration. You can solve this equation to solve for mass if you know the force and an acceleration. And then, of course, you can solve this equation for an acceleration if you know a mass and a force. And in most physics or physical science questions, that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to rearrange this equation and solve for one of these three variables. Now, in a previous video, we looked at something we called the magic triangle. And we put the equation in the magic triangle, and it helped us to rearrange it. Well, we can put this equation into this little magic triangle. It'll help us to rearrange it also. We can say that, if you recall, this line is division. This line means multiplied by or multiplication. So force equals mass times acceleration. That's how we put it in the triangle. Force equals mass times acceleration. That means that we can use this equation three different ways. If we want to calculate the force, force equals mass times acceleration. If we want to calculate mass, Mass is equal to force divided by acceleration. Let me say that again. Mass equals force divided by acceleration. Remember this horizontal line means division or divided by. And if we want to solve for acceleration, acceleration is equal to force divided by mass. So there are the three ways that we can use the force equation. We can solve for force, we can solve for mass, we can solve for acceleration. So let's take a look at a simple problem. Let's say for instance that you have this object, this mass, and you're, and you're going to apply a force to it. We'll call the force F. We don't know what the force is. But we do know that when we apply this force to this 100 kilogram mass, that mass accelerates with an acceleration equal to 2 meters per second squared. Now that 2 meters per second squared, if you remember what that means, that means that when we push on this 100 kilogram mass, it's going to start speeding up and its velocity will increase, it, increase by 2 meters per second every second while we're pushing on it. That's the acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. Well, our question here is, what is the force? Well, since we have the mass of the object and we have the acceleration, we're looking for the force, we can use this equation. A force 
acting on a mass will cause that mass to accelerate. We're going to figure out what force will cause a 100 kilogram mass to accelerate at 2 meters per second squared. So the force then is equal to mass, 100 kilograms, times 2 meters per second squared. And that force, 100 times 2, is 200 kilogram meters per second squared. Now remember we have to bring the units through here, through the problem. If nothing factors out, the units can't be left behind. We're not just dealing with a numeric answer, we're dealing with the units also, and that's kilogram meters per second squared. which is, by the way, the basic unit of measurement for a force in the SI or metric system. You can also express this force like this. That force is 200 newtons. I mean, after all, who would you name a force after? Who would be better? Isaac Newton. So a single kilogram meter per second squared is equal to a newton. You just might want to remember that. One kilogram meter per second squared equals one newton. One kilogram meter per second squared equals one newton. Don't forget that. So you can use kilogram meters per second squared in your answer or you can use newtons for your answer. And the answer here is 200 newtons. In the next part of the video we're going to look at solving problems using this force equation. What you want to remember from this equation is three ways to use it. Solve for force, solve for mass, solve for acceleration. Also remember the basic unit for measuring force is a kilogram meter per second squared, which is also equal to a newton. And probably it would be good to remember our definition for a force. A force is a push or a pull.